Hello everyone, Azure Greg here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Windows Terminal and then customize it. Click the Windows icon and then type Windows Store. Once the Windows Store opens, use the search bar top right and type in Windows Terminal and then select the Windows Terminal app. Now that the Windows Terminal Appears, click install and this will go off and install the Windows Terminal app. Once it's downloaded and installed, click launch. If you click on the down arrow, you can see I have currently five terminals. I have Windows PowerShell, Command Prompt, PowerShell Core, Ubuntu, and the Azure Cloud Shell. To customize the settings for these prompts, move the cursor down and select Settings. This will open up the settings.json, which is the config file for Windows Terminal. Here you can see the list of terminals that I have within the Windows Terminal. So I've got PowerShell, Command Prompt, PowerShell Core, Ubuntu, and at the bottom I have the Azure Cloud. So now let's go and customise this and add a background image to PowerShell. I'll type in some config and then paste in the URL to an image, which I'm also, I'm also using for my Microsoft Teams background. Click Save and let's switch back to Terminal and see the new setting in effect. So now you can see that the image is the PowerShell background. Let's go ahead and change the opacity a little bit. Let's click save and see if it's updated. And there you go. Now let's do the same for the command prompt. This time I'll just paste in the settings. Save and let's check. Cool. Now let's do PowerShell Core. Again, I'll paste in the setting changes for this. Next up is Ubuntu, which I'm going to leave as is. Oh, before I forget, let's check out the Azure Cloud Shell usage from within the Windows Terminal. I'll go ahead and choose my default directory. And the Azure CLI loads up after a couple of seconds. So there we have the Azure CLI from within the Windows Terminal. And more on that in a future video. Also, note you can change lots of other settings, including colour schemes and key bindings, as you can see here. Hope you enjoyed this video.